Hi everybody, I'm Mallory Albright. I'm the marketing manager here at Sundog and I'm here with our marketing intern, Carson, and today we'll be going over the Microsoft Teams app whiteboard. For starters, you've got to be already in a meeting, so we're already started, and we're going to head up to the top, the right hand side of your page, and click share. And from there, you'll go down until you see Microsoft whiteboard, and we're going to click that. Now Carson and I have already gotten a whiteboard started for today, so I'm going to click on that one. And as you can see, we've got quite a bit already here. So before I get started with anything else, uh, I'm going to show you the side panel here. So if you click on the plus button, you'll have the create section, and this is where you can add sticky notes, add text, you can add shapes and arrows, you can add reactions like the star and heart and check marks. You can add images, and we'll go over that later. Templates, uh, documents, links, and videos. And because this is a collaborative tool, it's important that everybody on your team knows where you're at at all times. So I'm going to go over to the top, the right hand side, and hover over my name. And I'm going to ask everyone to follow me. Now on Carson's end, He's going to be seeing a little pop-up here at the bottom asking him to join and he's going to accept that so no matter where I am on the board he can follow but if he does click on something else if he makes an edit he'll have to re-accept that invitation in order to continue following me. So with that I'm going to go over to templates and I'm going to show you some of the templates that Microsoft has already created for you. First one is brainstorming. So this is a great collaborative tool that you can use with your team to come up with great problem solutions to some of your biggest office problems. So I just clicked on that and dragged it over and now I can resize it. And I'm just scrolling in to zoom. And now I can click on any of these sticky notes to edit. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer. And how about Carson and I both write something into a sticky note here. Awesome. Now, if you don't want anybody to go around and mess with those sticky notes, you can hit the more option here. Just make sure that whatever you're editing, it's selected. And I can lock that down. Now Carson can't mess with it and neither can I. Some of the other great features that they have um, is the pl project planning features. So you can do, how about we do the jobs to be done. Now I'm going to drop that in here. This has a great little section that you can use to figure out whether what your customers' motivations are, their challenges, and what to be done with your team to fix those things. They also have great things like project kickoffs, success metrics, team alignment, team planning, and user story mapping. So whatever fits with your team. All right, the next thing I'm going to be showing you is the games feature. So this is great for icebreakers for your morning meetings or any company meetings that you might have. There's where in the world and then where in the world you can play the game of where maybe you put have everyone write down where they want to go visit um, or where they may have been for a family vacation. Just something to get to know the rest of your team and have a fun start to the day. And then on the we also have this feature over here. If you go back to the left hand side of your screen, you can add some pen tool features so you can draw on the screen. I've been to the Smoky Mountain, so I'm going to circle that one. You can also highlight. I love to go to Ireland. And you can see Carson's right in there. <laughs> you can also go through and erase, and that won't mess up any of your text. Carson, could you show us how to do the pin tool and how to use how to make an arrow out of that for us? I sure can. So if you go ahead and your first three options, you see that you have three pens. So this will not work on the highlighter, but for your pens, you can go ahead and change the thickness of it. Uh, so let's say 
if you wanted to have a thicker arrow, you can go ahead and bump that up to six. You can change the color of the arrow, and in the bottom, beneath the colors, you have a option for no arrow tips, single arrow tips, or double arrow tips. So we'll go ahead and just do the single arrow tips. And let's say I wanted to point to the Smoky Mountains option over here. So you go ahead and draw a line to the Smoky Mountains, and you see that the arrow pops. Uh, and you don't actually have to create that, that tip for it. It automatically creates it for you. Awesome. So that's an option you can do with the first three pens. Sweet. Thank you, Carson. So how about we go through and show you how to add an image. Again, I went back to the left-hand side, went to the Create panel, and I clicked on Images. I can choose from my device. So I'll go in here, and I'm going to pick this picture of a drone, and I can place that anywhere I'd want. You can also go and click on Bing Images, and you can pull them straight from the internet. Just like you would with any PowerPoint presentation or any other Microsoft product. You can also add documents and other links and videos. You can also add shapes, so I can draw right on top of this, and I can choose to cover up this section. And I can make this just an outline of a circle. You can go through here and add text if you would like as well. You can also add reactions, and again, you'll just go to your Create section, click on Reactions, and you can go through, add a little smiley face, heart, check marks. These are great in any of those icebreaker uh, sections that we talked about earlier. You can also go through and add videos. So I'm going to add a YouTube video, and I just copied the link from the YouTube page, and I'm going to push insert. And it should put our video in. Ah, there it is. Just took a little bit. Now if you want to share this whiteboard with another team member, you can go up to the top and right next to everybody's little icons, click Share This Whiteboard. And this is just like any other Microsoft Word document link that you're going to share or a PowerPoint. So I'm going to share this with Carson so he can view this later. And I'm going to change it so then he can edit. And I'm going to send that over his way. So now he should be getting an email with the link. And then you can also export and just send them an image. So you would go to the Settings menu and you'd go to export image and then if you're going to do this in an email do the standard resolution if you're going to be printing this out um, at all then you would click on high resolution but in this case I'm going to keep it where it's at and hit export and now will be in my downloads folder for me to go view later Thanks again for tuning in to this week's Tech Tip video. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.